Hello everybody, hey this is Simon Marshall here today and today I just got the greatest, the biggest harsh shocking news this morning. This morning WWE Hall of Famer Pat Patterson passed away. He was um, the first ever Intercontinental Champion in wrestling history. He defeated WWE Hall of Famer the Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase, at a, like a tournament, was it in either Brazil or at Madison Square Gardens, and they folded up the old North America champion, and that's how the IC title was born, and when he retired from the WWF slash E, he worked with, uh, one of the greatest uh, former tag team partners, and he's a Hall of Famer too. Uh, and that's uh, Jerry Briscoe. You know, Jerry Briscoe and Pat Patterson were like brothers. So, as you know, the greatest rival he had in wrestling history at MSG was against uh, WWE Hall of Famer Sergeant Slaughter in a hardcore uh, false count street fighting match. There was a great interview with uh, Michael Cole with Pat and Sarge, and that was a great, great match, you know, as a kid, you know. But I was too young when I watched it, but I remember seeing it on, what was it, the rerun and the replay back in the Haiti. And as you all know, uh, Pat Patterson started working with the WWE. He worked with guys like... Rene Goulet, Tony Gurria, Jerry Briscoe, Harvey Whippleman, before it used to be Art Anderson, Tony Blanchard, D. Malenko, uh, who else was behind stage? Uh, there was uh, Owa, oh, uh, Howard Finkel, me and Gene Oakland, you know, those great guys. Even uh, Dave Finley to uh, Mike Rotonda, the Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase. They work backstage, you know, like if you, let's say, if you were a current superstar at WrestleMania from guys like Cena, Triple H to, who was the other, The Undertaker. Oh, Michael Hayes worked with him, you know, all those great superstars. And I'll tell you what. I'm thankful for Pat Patterson and what he created. He created the Royal Rumble, which is uh, well known today. You know, I'm thankful for Pat Patterson for creating the Royal Rumble. Because guys like Hacksaw, Jim Duggan, Big John Studd, Hulk Hogan, The Nature Boy, Ric Flair, Yokozuna... A tie between Bret Hart and Lex Luger, Shawn Michaels, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Mr. McMahon, The Rock, uh, Triple H to Brock Lesnar, Chris Benoit, David Batista, Rey Mysterio, The Undertaker, John Cena, Randy Orton, The Rated R Superstar Edge. Alberto Del Rio, Sheamus, Cena again, Batista again, Roman Reigns, Triple H again, Orton again, Shinsuke Nakamura, Seth Rollins, and Drew McIntyre. All winners of the Royal Rumble. And in order, when you win that, back in 1993, that's how you win your Battle Royal and in order to become the number one contender for the WWE or the World Heavyweight Championship match. And that's why I'm thankful for Pat Patterson. You know, I'm going to miss the guy because he was the first guy to finally step out of the closet and announce that he was gay. And, you know, there was all that scandals. But, you know, let's not go there. No, no, no. I want to say, you know, he was loved and respected by his peers. Vince McMahon. Stephanie and Shane McMahon all loved Pat Patterson. Jerry Briscoe saw him as a brother, so rest in peace there. Pierre Clamont, a.k.a. Pat Patterson. This is Simon Marshall saying thank you for watching.